Hi friends, welcome to another Sunday with Sarah. I'm Sarah Baldwin, back with you today with some parenting tips. One of the most frequent questions I get from viewers and parents is how to have more peaceful evenings and less stress around bedtimes. So today I'm here to share with you five tips for less stressful bedtimes, more peaceful evenings. The first tip I have and perhaps the most important one is to allow plenty of time for that transition from meal time, dinner time, until bedtime, till lights out and children are asleep. People get busy as it gets later, children get tired and crankier, everyone gets crankier, parents look at the watch and think, why aren't the kids in bed yet? So one key to avoiding that is to, to be consistent, have consistent rhythms and schedules and an early dinner time is key starting dinner early now i recommend feeding the children as early as five o'clock if you can um, i know some of you are working parents and that might not be possible so six o'clock or however early you are able to get home and get dinner on the table. You don't have to eat at that hour. Keep in mind, it's okay to feed your children first and you and your partner can have a, a more leisurely dinner um, once the children are asleep. So my second tip is aim for a seven o'clock bedtime and keep it consistent if it's possible. Uh, again, if you're working and you don't eat until six, you might have to stretch it to 7.30. As with dinner time, the earlier the better. With bedtime, the earlier the better. And if it's consistent and children know what to expect, they will fall into that rhythm. Now, you know what, if your kids are in bed and asleep by seven, then you and your partner can have a leisurely conversation over dinner, reconnect over your days, discuss your days. Um, and there's a great book that I recommend called The Seven O'Clock Bedtime which discusses how important it is for young children to get enough sleep, plenty of sleep. They need more sleep than adults um, based on age. So early meal, early bedtime. So my third tip I referred to in the first two is to have rhythm and ritual during your evenings. That means having a consistent schedule um, we Waldorf teachers who work with young children know that having a consistent schedule where one activity follows the other day after day after day goes a long way to creating a sense of security for young children. So young children who cannot tell time yet get very anxious when their days are inconsistent and they don't know what's happening next and bedtime is always a different time and there's too much activity and nothing is predictable. When you have a predictable routine, it just goes a long way to eliminating stress. And ritual can be part of that too, bringing a sense of peace uh, and calm to a child. So your rhythm of the evening might start with dinner, followed by washing dishes and kitchen cleanup, followed by bath time, brushing teeth, putting on pajamas. And I always like to light a candle at bedtime, which again, it, it, it's a sense of ritual. It gives a sense of reverence to children. It's a transition from the busy daytime waking hours, this transition into a time of sleep. And then uh, we would tell a, a, a bedtime story. And it could either be a picture book, or better yet, a story that you tell by heart, or a story about your own childhood. It could be a chapter from a chapter book, depending on a child's age. And then I always like to end story time with a lullaby. And you might have favorite lullabies that you already sing your child, or that you remember from your own childhood. If you need ideas at Bella Luna Toys, we have a new collection of songs called The Wonder of Lullabies by Mary Schooneman, who was a Waldorf teacher. It has um, songs with musical notation and words, but it also comes with a CD, so you can learn the songs by heart if you don't read music. It's meant for a parent to learn these songs to then sing themselves to their old child, even if you think you can't sing. 
your child will really appreciate it. And I have a couple other suggestions of things you can incorporate during your evening ritual that can add a lot of comfort and peace to a child. Um, one is to use a hot water bottle. Um, this one has a, an organic cotton covering. It's really cozy. You fill it with hot water and you can either tuck it into a child's bed before the child gets into it so the bed will already be warm or if it's a cold night you can put it on their feet to warm their feet or if the child has a tummy ache you can put it on their tummy or they can just hold it but adding that sense of warmth is another wonderful ritual to help calm children and bring more peace to your evenings so this we at Bella Luna Toys, we carry this one covered in cotton or just um, uh, the plastic water bottle um, by itself. You can make your own cover or knit a cover, but it's really cozy and there's nothing like getting into a warm bed. And finally, massage and touch before bed it can be so calming and relaxing for a child who doesn't enjoy that touch, especially the touch of a parent, parent to child. Uh, you can just gently massage them, massage their feet. We sell a cream at Bella Luna Toys that I highly, highly recommend. It's called Orum Lavender Rose Cream. It has actual little bits of real gold in it, as well as being scented with lavender and rose oil. And it's been shown to be very comforting and calming, especially if a child has experienced a lot of stress or anxiety. It smells wonderful. But you could use any massage oil scented with, with lavender or other essential oils. But the sense of touch, the massage, the, the scent of lavender, all wonderful ways to help your child transition from daytime to sleeping hours and drift peacefully into sleep. Well, I hope you found some of these tips helpful. Uh, I hope it leads to, to more peaceful bedtimes at your house. Uh, please leave me a comment or send an email to sundaywithsarah at bellalunatoys.com and let me know how your bedtimes are. Are they chaotic or are they calm? If you decide to incorporate some of these ideas, let me know how it goes. And best of all, if you have tips to share with other parents, please leave them as a comment below because we will all find it helpful. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to the Sunday with Sarah channel if you haven't already. And I wish you a peaceful slumber tonight and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.